I could cry right now, like, I could cry. So, let me tell y'all what happened. Well, wish well, well, wish well. I got purple Kush, I got a purple aura, I got a custom fragrance, I got home Sephora. I like to swing my hips under a pink fedora. And you see me, I'm the brush queen of cut. Switching lanes on the beat, give a my skip. Okay, I like my hair more. This way. Let me tell y'all what happened to me today. And this is like the first time this has ever happened to me. And I literally felt like I was about to have a heart attack. Like, I'm really sad right now, but it's just like, did that really just happen? Like, so today I'm supposed to go see my boyfriend. Tell me why I missed the flights. So, this is what happened, right? So, I got my hair done yesterday. The, and my hair got done like three o'clock in the nighttime, right? So like I was literally in the chair doing this, like I was, cause I was so tired. And then as soon as I got home yesterday, like I had like I packed the majority of my stuff. As soon as I got home, I went straight to bed because I was like so tired. And then I set my alarm, so my flight was like ten twenty three. Bear in mind, I live like three um three minutes away from the airport in call station so i was like okay i'm gonna get up at eight o'clock i'm gonna be fine blah blah so i ended up leaving home like about an hour to like the departure time i don't know but i never knew that there's like a certain like cutoff time where you could like not check your bags anymore like i didn't know that was a thing so I got there. I'm thinking I'm good because it's like the airport is like so small. It literally takes you like five minutes to check in. Like it don't take you long. So I'm thinking, okay, I don't have to be at the airport. Like whenever I go through like Houston and stuff like that, I don't have to be at the airport like two hours prior to the flight. None of that. None of that. So I was like, I'm fine. Like I would, I, whenever I left my house, I literally, I'm like, I'm fine. Like it shouldn't take me long to get there and I'm still have to wait. But I didn't know about the, like the cutoff time. So as soon as I got there, I walked in, this guy came up to me, he was like, you cannot check your bag. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, what? What, you, what do you mean I cannot check my bag? Like, be serious. He was like, you cannot check your bag. So I'm like, what am I supposed to do with my bag? He, I'm like, is there not anybody I could talk to? Like, he was like, the computer literally will not let you check your bag. Like, it will not print out no tags, no nothing. And it was as soon as I walked in, they stopped checking the bags. I'm like, the devil just dancing on me today. Like, what is going on? Like, I literally felt like I was about to have a heart attack. He was like, you can go back home and put in a carry-on. Or you could just send your suitcase back home and just go without your... I'm like, you, you don't understand. Like, baby, I got dates. I got, like, I have to be given. Like, I can't just go without nothing. Like... Where do you think I'm going to? Like, I need all my stuff. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go back home. But it was really his fault because he could have told me, like, as soon as I, like, got, like, out of the Uber and be like, oh, turn around. You can't check your bags. And I'll just turn around. So I was there and it literally took, like, 10, about 12 minutes for, um the Uber to get to me. And then whenever the Uber got here, it went to arrivals because they were, like, why somebody coming from departure like early one? Like it makes sense during arrival, so they had to come back up and come to departure and come and get me. So whenever I got in there, I literally told the lady, I was like, "You have to um, take me back, and you gonna have to zoom this car." <laughs> no, this is funny. Like this is funny. I'm gonna tell you the entire story. I'm like, you gonna have to zoom this car. And she was like, okay, okay, I got you. She was like, I've always, bear in mind, this is an old lady. She was like, I've always wanted to be a speed racer. I'm like, okay, man, too much now. When I say this is one of the craziest driving I've ever experienced from an Uber driver, this like was just crazy. She got the job done. So I got home. When I say I sprinted up the stairs with the 
big ol' I had a big ol' suitcase because that was my check on suitcase. I lift that thing up and I sprinted up the stairs of the suitcase because I was like, I'm I cannot I cannot miss this flight. Like I cannot miss this flight. Cause I'm not thinking, oh you can get on the other one. Like cause that's what they did. They kinda like put me on the other flight later on. I wasn't thinking any of that. I was like, I have to get to bay. Like I just have to I have to get to like I have to get to my destination today like i just cannot i cannot miss my flight so i sprint up here toss away some of my stuff just packed everything i could pack and sprinted back downstairs in my little um carry-on suitcase and the lady she zoomed on our way back this lady ran through the stop sign i said oh i was like oh there's a stop sign coming up she was like you don't really have to stop if it's an emergency i'm like what I was like, please, Jesus, please, 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 please. So I got there back. I made it on time before the time that the guy gave me. He was like, you need to get to like right here where you show like your your get your um boarding pass and thing at this time. I was like, okay, bet. I got there like three minutes or four minutes before that time. Tell me why as soon as the guy see me walking in and I was about to get in, he closed the gate closed the flight and i was like oh hell no. i'm like no like y'all are not serious right now i'm like he's not serious <laughs> like he's not serious he literally told me to go home and he literally see me trying hard to get back here and i'm like i literally got here and he's closing i'm like uh-uh i need to talk to this man so i told him i'm like i'm going through the security and he gonna have to tell me why i cannot get on because i'm like i'm like i'm going like y'all not gonna send me back like i'm going right now i do not care what y'all gonna say so i went through security they tossed away some of my stuff because i wasn't able to like unpack all my stuff in time like really quick so they tossed away some of my stuff sadly but I didn't care, like, I didn't care. I just wanted to be on that flight. Why am I getting emotional? <laughs> I didn't care, I just wanted to be on that flight. So they tossed away my stuff. And I was just there waiting for the guy. So I was like, in the back of my head, I'm like, it cannot be the same guy who told me, oh, he really wants to help me. Oh, run home, he hopes I make it back in time, blah, blah, blah. It can't be that same guy who see me come and tell them to close the gate immediately so i see i'm like how is the gate closed if you told me to be back here he was like well it's protocol once they tell us to close the gate, we have to close the gate blah 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 like you literally see me you could have told him there is like a person about to come right now but it's like <sighs> and i was trying not to have a nasty attitude or nothing but it's just like but it really made me sad until they told me they're like okay yeah we could put you on the other flight that gets out of here in the evening time you can come back and check it i'm like i'm not trying to hear all this like i'm trying to hear this but i'm not trying to hear all this like i'm not trying to talk to you i just want to go home so they're like are you gonna wait until six i'm like who is gonna wait here until six o'clock like, now I can be mean because I already know I'm not going to get on that play. <laughs> I'm not going to get on that play. So now I'm going to be mean. I'm like, no, I'm not going to. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to call my Uber and go back home. So that was my very, very intense morning. And now I'm back home and I said I wanted to make a video and share with y'all this crazy experience. But I like I don't learn my lesson because I never knew that before. Like I never knew oh to check your bags and cut off a certain time. I might be the dumb. I might be the, <laughs> I might be the why did I just say dumb? I might be the dummy that don't know this very important information, seeing that I'm someone I'm someone who travels almost every week. But it's like, I normally travel with the team, so it's like a little bit different where you have to be at a certain time. But it's like, now I actually travel by myself. So it's like, I'm not happy it happened to me, but it's like, 
I was gonna learn one day, <laughs> but today's the day and I definitely learned my lesson. So if you're watching this and you don't know, you go to the airport a lot or you just go to the airport, know that there's a cutoff time, never cut it close. Always give yourself a good amount of time, no matter what. Don't be, don't be like Cherokee Young. Don't be like me, cause it really sucks. But yeah, I am very much cooling off now. I'm so sad because I, I wanted to get there earlier. Now I'm going to get there midnight. I wanted to get there earlier, but it's okay. I'll be okay. But yeah, I just want to share my story with y'all. Lock in. Lock in. Lock in whenever you have to travel. Don't be cutting it close. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm bored. So, my flight leaves. <laughs> My flight leaves at um, six something, so I'm bored, so I'm cooking. I'm literally cooking a whole meal. Like, I still have flour in my hands. I'm making, I'm making dumplings and baked beans, and that's gonna be my lunch. Also on the phone with him, cooking, and those are my dumplings. And then I'm gonna be done in a little bit. But I just thought I'd just keep vlogging since I'm here and show y'all what I do until I have to go again. But yeah. Bored in a house and I'm in the house more. <laughs> I cannot dance. Okay, so my food is done. I'm so excited. I was like tasting it while I was cooking it and it's bomb. It tastes so good. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. And I'm going to have coconut water because I'm an island girl. It's one of my favorite drinks. Got some electrolytes in it too. But yeah, I'm going to have lunch. And then I'm going to keep y'all posted. <sighs> I'm going to keep y'all posted for the rest of the day what I do. Probably going to take a nap because I didn't get like a lot of sleep last night. But yeah, stay tuned. Okay, y'all. I totally forgot to tell y'all but it's like the devil been playing with me since like yesterday like really playing with me like so yesterday's like i was supposed to have a lash appointment right and my lash check she literally my appointment was supposed to be at two two o'clock i texted her early in the morning like hey girl are we still on for like two o'clock because it was like supposed to be like a squeeze in appointment or whatever you call it Tell me why she texted me at 1.15 and she was like, I forgot that I have an appointment with somebody at 1.45. So it's like, she canceled my appointment like last minute and it's like, I couldn't go later because I had to get my hair done. So it's like, I literally had to get up this morning and can you believe that I did my lashes myself? But like, are you seeing how good they look? Like they look so good right now. But this food is so good, like, If you Jamaican, you know this song. Got your body good, I get 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10. That's what the speed given. 10 out of 10. But yeah, I hope I don't no more bad stuff happen. Like, I need a break. But yeah, these lashes. These lashes look good. You know you love food whenever you be eating and dancing. That's <laughs> whenever you know you love food. I don't know, like, I love food. Like, I really love food. This is so good. Have y'all ever had, like, boiled dumplings? It's a thing in Jamaica. It's kind of like what it looks like. It's like flour, and you just boil it, and it... So good. But yeah, this is so good, guys. It's crazy because I don't cook a lot, and whenever I do cook, 
I'd be having the time of my life, but I don't be having a lot of time to just be cooking every day. I wish I could cook more. I am gonna try to cook more because I really love my food. There's a TikTok playing in the back over and over and over again. <laughs> hey guys, I'm still waiting. It's 2.30 right now. And I'm editing my YouTube video. Well, one of them, not this one. But I'm editing one of them. That's what I've been doing. So yeah. But yeah, that's the move. Hey guys, so I'm back. I'm getting ready to go. I'm gonna get it right this time, I promise. Um, so I redid my makeup. I feel like this one is more pretty than the other one. Is there any such thing as that? I don't know. But you know what I mean? I feel like this one looks better than the first makeup look. Let me know what y'all think. But yeah, I feel like my next video is gonna be whenever I'm at the airport. Once I get through this time at the gate and everything is going good. I feel like that's gonna be my last video for this little story time and a little bit of day in the life. But yeah, I'm gonna see y'all whenever I get to the airport. Hey guys. Your girl has made it. I'm at the airport. I'm so happy. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And just remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.